Hi there, my name is Eric and I play bass and today we are checking out Parallax X from Neural DSP. Before we get started with this video, Neural DSP did ask me to do this video, so you can consider this a sponsored video by Neural DSP. So Parallax X is finally here. Parallax has been my go-to plugin pretty much for rock and metal bass tones for the past five years now. Uh, and I'm not getting paid to use this plugin, I've actually been using it for pretty much five years and uh, it's gotten itself a facelift and it will sooner rather than later be compatible with the Neural DSP Quad Cortex which means that these presets that you dial in here uh, in the plugin you can now bring on the road and uh, you know they will sound as good as they do in your DAW uh, and maybe even better. So with that being said and done Let's uh, check it out, shall we? I'm using my Yamaha Attitude Limited 2. Um, stock pickups and everything going through my Shore Wireless into my uh, Neural DSP Quad Cortex, which is just a glorified line box uh, right now. Uh, going into my SSL 2 Plus, and uh, that's the tone that you're hearing right now. <laughs> So that's without parallax. Engaging parallax. So when you open up the plugin, it looks pretty darn uh, similar to what you had with the previous iteration. However, there are a few additions now. Um, starting off here, you got your input level, you got the noise gate, you now got a transpose function here so if you're in say E standard but you want to play a song in D standard well there we go it works like a charm and now you've actually got a tuner which I'm actually needing right now so you've also got uh, the live tuner function so if you do like so you've actually got a tuner down there in the left corner which is good if you're into that sort of stuff and you can also have a not mute the output signal if you want to so tuner is a new addition transpose is a brand new addition uh, you got a nice uh, facelift to it as well. Uh, down here you also got MIDI, so you can, you know, map it out in case you want to use it live. You know, if you're using your computer live, you can do that. Over here you got the cab section, and you've of course got the 7 band EQ down here. For this iteration I actually got to do a few factory presets, so I'm gonna showcase those for you right now. Uh, these are actually based on uh, these three presets down here. So my good friends in the band Seventh Dimension actually asked me to help them out with the bass tones for their latest album. So I got a few of the bass stems and I did some uh, tone dialing and uh, sent them the presets. So uh, I did these three presets and I used uh, an external IR that you're not getting with the plugin. So uh, I tweaked this a wee bit for these three here. Uh, clean with a bit of bite, mid gain mushiness, and set and forget metal bass. Uh, so these three are essentially based on the three seventh dimension uh, presets that I did for those guys. Um, so let's start off with clean with a bit of bite. So this one sounds like this. <laughs> So it's, it's clean. But with a bit of bite. So the low compression is set at a 75% uh, amount, the low pass is set for 250 hertz, uh, yeah, low level minus 10.6. The mid drive is set for zero, 
Here's without the mid distortion. Here's with it. So you can't really hear the magic there. That's pretty much all of the tone. <laughs> and the high distortion. Just adds a bit of sparkle on top. Um, cab section wise, we got the dynamic 57 and r the ribbon 121. A neat trick that I picked up from I think it was Glenn Fricker who showed this is when you're when you're setting up two separate IRs or cabinets or whatnot, uh, flip the face on one of them and you can hear what it's taking away from your tone. So that's what's being taken away by adding the ribbon 121. So a bit of the boomy lows without that one. Still a great bass tone. Well, this one will sit better in a mix, in my humble opinion. So yeah, that's uh, clean with a bit of bite for you. Next up, we've got mid gain mushiness, um, and this one sounds like this. <laughs> Yeah. And yeah, it's a mid gain tone. This bass is pretty darn hot in its output, so I might want to set this one back a wee bit. So there you go. Yeah, also pretty cool tone. I think this one ended up being pretty much the main tone of the Seventh Dimension album. Don't quote me on that. It's just what I'm recalling them saying. Same uh, settings in terms of low pass. Um, the mids are still pretty prominent in this one. So. Yeah. There we go. Um, and high distortion. Yeah. Uh, cab wise. Dynamic 57 and Ribbon 121. Bit different placement here uh, with the 57. Here's what the ribbon is taken away, so. You can do that if you want to have more, you know, low end. In your tone. That's also a neat tone if you want that. And last but not least, set and forget metal bass. So this one, pretty darn straight up. You know, set and forget. Not much more to it. Put this one on and you're good to go. Cabwise, ribbon, dynamic 57. Both dead on. And yeah. Yeah, parallax just... It just works, man. 
<laughs> um, for this video, I chose to showcase the plugin, not in a full mix, but rather, you know, uh, live with me playing along through the plugin because. Um, Let's face it, if you've heard a song on my channel for the past five years, you've probably heard uh, Parallax in a full mix. So um, I thought it would be fun to just walk through these uh, three presets that I did for the plugin. And yeah. It's a, you know, you can use it for pretty much anything. Uh, in my humble opinion, I mean, if you if we go back to the clean with a bit of bites, if we take away some of the highs here, and I'm gonna change pickup to neck pickup, You can use it for stuff like that, you know. And you know, more classic rock stuff. It just works, man. So if you just adjust the EQ a wee bit, it's a very versatile plugin and not just for, you know, the uh, set and forget metal bass tone. You can actually do a lot of cool stuff. You don't need to do the... That kind of stuff. Uh, the transpose feature is really, really nice. You can really... Do some cool stuff with this. If you don't have, you know, a five string, or if you just want to go down, you know, half a step. That sounds terrible with <laughs> with the sound coming out of the speakers and me hearing the. Let's just try something here, so you can hear it. So here's minus twelve. That's the transpose for you. It also just works. So, with all this being said and done, this is Parallax X from Neural DSP. Go check it out if you haven't already. Uh, if you're a Quad Cortex user, congratulations. You will sooner rather than later get this for your Neural DSP Quad Cortex and your live bass tones, and not just your studio ones. So if you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that subscribe button and ring that notification bell. My name is Eric and I play bass and I'll see you guys and gals and cats and dogs in the next video. Until next time, take care. Bye.